Well, uh, with the MD series pumps, uh, the one thing uh, most people don't know is the development started pretty late in the process, uh, in, like in terms of competitions and everybody else's product releases. Uh, we started in 2015 with our first uh, smallest size launches, and we've always been in tune with the market to see where the industry is. And uh, most of you are aware, uh, water has become more of a luxury nowadays for mine sites. So that was a critical factor we took into play when we designed the MD pump. So if you know Enviroset being a standard feature on all the MD pumps, that's uh, about 50% reduction in water consumption. Efficiencies are high by design because we used uh, CFDs to perfect the hydraulic. So we're looking at pretty decent high efficiencies compared to competition, low water consumption, all towards minimizing the footprint of the pump in terms of global sustainability targets. Water consumption, energy, uh, material use, uh, logistics, uh, inventory, all of these play a role in the total uh, sustainability picture. And our idea was to minimize those impacts at every leg of the journey of the life cycle of the product. So in the beginning, from design, one frame can accommodate different sizes. That's a benefit. You don't have to change too many things to upsize or downsize your existing pump. That's a benefit, and I think it's a strong sustainability uh, suit on the MD, MD portfolio. And then also you have the water consumption with the Enviroset being a standard seal. You're reducing your consumption by 50%, especially Latin American countries. Uh, the water is now, within the next year or so, is going to be mostly seawater. That's not really fresh water and you have to do a bunch of cleaning of the processed water itself to be able to flush your seals and stuff. So minimizing the requirement of fresh water is definitely a manifold impact in terms of uh, sustainability. And material wise, uh, if it's, your parts are not heavy and you're not transporting too many materials from the production facilities to the mine sites, which are usually remote, your CO2 impact and logistics uh, transport uh, the weight of the parts being lesser, safety impact, all of these are a benefit because modular design of the product itself. Services and aftermarket are at the heart of Metso Autotech Pumps culture, as it is where we can make the big difference to our customers by delivering extra value while fulfilling Metso Autotech values. Metso Autotech global services and supply chain networks, including foundries, rubber factories, assembly plants, R&D centers, warehouses, repair service centers, and field service crews, all work together to allow Metso Autotech pumps to meet all needs of its customers by providing full coverage on parts and service supply. Metso Autotech pumps also provides technical support to its customers, offering operation and maintenance training, troubleshooting and performance consultancy on site, making sure our open and honest values meet the customer's need to continuously increase their operations performance and outcome. However, high ambition always is driving our developments and PUMPS lifecycle solutions, PUMPS LCS, as one of the most important assets to deliver on this front. With PUMPS LCS programs, Metso Autotech aims to be more and more of a life cycle partner rather than a part supplier and support customers in maximizing their PUMPS fleet uptime and performance through three programs. So these programs include services offerings on supply chain management, including consignment stocks, inspections, maintenance, optimization, financial, costing and warranty programs. Such services offerings also keep our customers in the front row when it comes to the latest engineering developments and prove to be the best way to have their pumps fleet updated on new equipments, new hydraulics, new materials and on the digitalization when they are released in the market. Metso Autotech pumps equipment and services are developed with the customer in the center. This is really important for us so by delivering the lowest total cost of ownership in the market with pumps portfolio able to handle corrosive and abrasive slurries for long periods of time, ease of maintenance, fully technically supported and at economical cost. In short, through this unique combination of Metso Autotech pumps engineering developments and services offerings, we ensure that we walk the talk 
on the asset lifecycle management and that our customers in the market can continually improve their operations outcome and environmental sustainability as well by having swift and supported access to our new and innovative technology regardless of the pumps fleet that they already have installed in the field. The intensity of uh, mines and the size of mines is growing and with that we have to keep up with the amount of requirements and demands from the mine side. So we have recently launched the MDM 800 during Q4 last year, 2021, and Q1 this year we launched the MDM 900. Now when I say these numbers, the 800 and 900, I'm referring to the inlet size of the pump which basically dictates the amount of flow that passes through the pump. So 800, for example, could move um, at, at BEP, uh, at its best design point, is about 12,000 cubic meters per hour. And then the 900 is about 13,000 plus or minus cubic meters per hour. Now, those numbers might look big. Uh, just to put those in context, uh, a football field, uh, American football field is roughly about 120 yards. If you take it to the bottom post of the goal, about 10 feet high, you cover the entire field with slurry, MDM 900 can empty that field in 1 hour, 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So we do boast a broad portfolio and that gives us the expertise to analyze the whole project at a one-stop shop kind of an approach. In that regard, we can size the pumps not only for the cyclones, if the cyclones are emits out, we take source cyclones as well. We can make sure that we are at optimum level from the cyclone flow uh, selection to the pump selection to the uh, ancillary equipment selection down the stream. The advantage of doing it with a single supplier is the safety factor element. When you go through different sources, uh, different suppliers, different configuration and elements, every manufacturer and vendor applies a safety factor on their recommendation. Those safety factors add up and you might end up with a situation where your cyclones are too big for your uh, mill pump or your mill pump is too big for your cyclones. And that kind of mismatch could be avoided by using Metso Autotech as a one-stop shop. Now when it comes to actually translating that into the field and uh, passing the benefits on to the customer, uh, we have Metso Autotech has for a long time invested in condition monitoring uh, devices and technology which keeps uh, the maintenance, the operation and upkeep of our equipment uh, easier. With these uh, technology developments also translated to the uh, pump world. Uh, so we're looking at uh, monitoring pumps uh, for their internal clearances because as pumps, uh, these slurry pumps usually class 4 applications, your pumps wear out pretty good on the internals in a short period of time because of the aggressive nature of slurry. So if you can monitor the internal wear rates of these pumps and kind of figure out how fast it's wearing, we could come up with a predictive maintenance capabilities and stuff like that. So IoT is slowly um, uh, getting into our line of uh, work. Uh, we, are, we are cognizant of it. We're trying to incorporate it and marry the uh, technologies as they emerge into our product line. We are finely tuned. Uh, we have a couple of things on the horizon without giving out too much. There is things in the pipeline in the R&D which will definitely make the maintenance uh, and, and monitoring of the pumps a lot more easier and friendlier going forward.